Mary was born with profound uh, brain damage at birth, and she was suffering from seizures under a day at the beginning, going into the hospital, getting pneumonia, getting all sorts of um, problems with her respiratory system, and um, it became harder and harder for us to manage that. I was in a parent group at United Cerebral Palsy and she was getting therapy there. And uh, the social worker that was running our therapy said, uh, you know, now that you've got two boys, one older, one younger, and Carrie's not doing well on vacations, I've got a place for us to look at. You can do respite care there or full-time care. And of course, as a special ed teacher, I was no, 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 no. But I came and this place was so beautiful. We started out with a few weekends and um, a vacation or two, and then she moved in. It was the right place at the right time. It went pretty well for us, didn't it, Pete? Absolutely. Here, there wasn't any guilt. We just felt so good from the first time we brought Carrie. We loved the care and the family atmosphere that this facility had. It's been the best thing for our family. And especially in that 80% of all parents with handicapped children end up divorced. Hattie Larlam saves marriages, it saves families, it saves the entire concept of, of what is important in life. And Hattie has been that for us and we will forever be grateful. It also helped our family. Her brothers were able to come and spend time with her. My mother spent every Sunday here as long as she was able to. And she would just love coming. She would help um, the gals cut hair and then she would go take Carrie out for a walk and then do lunch and just have a wonderful time here. So everybody in our family was accepted and and welcomed, which was a great relief to us. I'm hoping that Hattie Larlow provides as much happiness and help to other families as they've provided for us. We also hope that it really is able to expand for every type of disabled disability, not only the profound like here at the campus, but for those who need help out in the community. That's the long-term goal for Hattie and all the donations that we're able to get from the people will make that possible.